Life insurance shouldn't be one of those things that you put off thinking about because you could actually need it at any time. But do you wonder if it's actually worth the monthly premiums? And how do you even know if it's necessary or not? And do you actually even need life insurance? What if I told you during this video that you may not even need life insurance at all? In general, most people start looking at life insurance when they have dependents that they need to take care of. What would happen to them if you are no longer around? And the reason you actually get life insurance, and this is probably the most basic explanation that I can offer, is that the payout from that life insurance policy would be there to replace your income, would be there to maintain your family standard of living when you are no longer there. And that payout, it could be used to pay off debt, to pay for childcare, to pay for tuition. It could be used for whatever else that you have planned in life. If you have a spouse and kids, ask yourself this, what do you want to happen to them if you are no longer around? I'm guessing that you want them to at least maintain their standard of living as opposed to dealing with financial uncertainty or having to move out of their home. This is where the cost of premiums on term life insurance may be worth considering. The payout to your family will help settle debt obligations, will allow your family and your dependents to stay in their current family home, will allow them to pay for current life expenses, for future life expenses. There are two main types of insurance coverages that are typically compared, term life and whole life. And the difference between term life insurance and whole life insurance is the benefit period. Term life insurance offers coverage for a specific period of time, which is determined by the applicant, in this case it would be you, and most commonly it typically covers 20 years. While whole life insurance covers you for your entire life, or until you decide to either cancel or sunder your policy. A term life insurance policy guarantees that if you pass away while the policy is active, your family or your dependents will get a tax-free lump sum payout. The other important aspect you want to compare when you're looking at term life versus whole life is the cost of coverage. And generally speaking, term life is one of the more affordable options when it comes to a life insurance policy. And to be a little bit more specific, the premiums on a term life insurance policy are somewhere around 85% cheaper compared to either whole life or permanent life. And this is super key right here. Your beneficiary receives a tax-free death benefit if you were to pass away during that term. And unlike permanent life insurance, term life is only active in the years you need it the most. I know this sounds super sales pitchy, but that's why term life is like 85% cheaper when you compare it to whole life. Take a second, hit that like, subscribe, and thanks button on the bottom of this video. So you're always in the know on what you should be doing when it comes to your money. And a quick shout out to Paul C. Me for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't know Policy Me, they're an online life insurance company with some of the most affordable rates in Canada. Their advisors are non-commissioned, so you always get honest advice without the constant upselling. Plus, they have a couple's discount where you receive 10% off in your first year when you apply with your partner. If you are interested in exploring life insurance, I'll leave a link to Policy Me in the description so you can get started. Now, you may be thinking that you actually have life insurance through your work policy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it was actually part of those onboarding documents you signed when you initially accepted the offer. The problem with that work life insurance is that it only covers between one to two times your annual salary. One common way of figuring out how much life insurance you actually need is simply take your annual salary and multiply it by 10. It's a simple and common way, but at least you get an idea of the coverage you may need. And if you're still not sure, I recommend turning out policy means free life insurance calculator to pick out the guesswork. It will even tell you if you don't need life insurance. Unlike auto insurance that you need because of laws and regulations, life insurance is completely optional. You can skip all of it and take the self-insured route. Now, being self-insured means that you have enough money to pay for anything a insurance company would pay for. If you're single, you have no dependents, you have no debt, you have a ton of savings and enough assets to cover all of your life expenses along with your end-of-life expenses, then you probably don't need life insurance. The same goes if you have a family and are well set up financially, that if you're no longer there, your family is still taken care of. For example, you have a mortgage-free home, no other debt, plenty of savings tucked away, a healthy investment portfolio, and at that stage, you probably don't need life insurance. The way to think about self-insurance is that you're pretty much your own insurance provider. Now again, this only works for optional life insurance, not for insurance coverage where it's required by law. For example, let's say you have an annual salary of $80,000. By the end of 20 years, you're able to build up an investment portfolio worth $500,000. Assuming a rate of return of around 10%, your portfolio, in theory, is generating about $50,000 a year. That money and your portfolio as a whole is your life insurance policy. 
that while you're working your way there, while you're saving up for those 20 years, building up that portfolio, you can get term life insurance to cover you while you work your way of being self-insured. I'm obviously oversimplifying this as a stock market is not a linear form of wealth generation because it has ups and downs, but there are real benefits of going the self-insured route. If you're self-insured, that means you're not paying an insurance company every year to carry the risk of insuring you. That's a huge benefit to you because that means you are saving money and the money that you would have put towards insurance premiums, you can take that money and build up your investment portfolio. And this entire channel is dedicated to helping you build your wealth over time with smart savings and investment techniques. If you're not interested in going the self-insured route, you can still save money by choosing term life over whole life and putting those savings to work. Remember, as I said earlier in this video, term life can actually be 85% cheaper in some cases compared to whole life or compared to permanent life. Those are pure savings. Let's not forget, life insurance is there to protect your income and that's its only job. Once you are out of debt and are investing like a pro, you can work your way of self-insuring your income. It's also worthwhile talking to a financial planner if going the self-insured route makes sense for you or not, or maybe you're just better off going for a term life insurance policy. At the end of the day, it's about protecting your loved ones if you're no longer there, if your stream of income is no longer there. Now, it doesn't have to be term life versus self-insurance. You can take a hybrid approach. You can take a term life until you feel comfortable going the self-insured route. My personal plan is to continue with the self-insurance route. And that's why on this channel, I talk a lot about investing, how to invest, where to invest, how to maximize my investments. By taking this approach, I want my dividend scream generated from my investments to be able to cover all my expenses. Let's conclude here. Do you really need life insurance? And the answer is not a simple yes or no, and you may have guessed that by the content of this video. It all depends on your personal situation. Are you married? Do you have a spouse? Do you have kids? Do you have debt? Where are you at with your stage of career? What is your investment balance? There are a lot of variables that go in play when determining a life insurance policy. If you're single, really got savings, live a modest lifestyle, then do you really need life insurance? Probably not. But in most cases, if you have family or other dependents, you have debt, you don't have enough savings to cover end of life expenses, then life insurance, this is seriously worth considering. And for about like 95% of families, term life is the way to go. I'll leave a link to Policy Me's no obligation free insurance code in the description below. So you can get a feel of what coverage would look like and what it would actually cost. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you had some meaningful takeaways from this video. Hit that like, subscribe, and thanks button. All the things I've talked about in this video, I'll leave the links in the description below. That's it for now. I'll talk to you in the comment section.